for those who are struggling to know the direction of where they're going or to understand which direction they're going this is what you need a goals journal hey it's your girl lee markella and i'm coming back with another video in today's video i'll be talking about the importance of writing things down and actually manifesting what your goals are even if you're not there yet it's important to just write things down and just believe that you will achieve what you wrote down anyway a goals journal helps you keep on track of where you are now how you're going to get there and the process and the end result which is a tick on the list i got this goals journal from paper chase like about three years ago and i got it actually when i was um on my way to work and i just thought on my journeys like normally used to listen to music or just listen to the bible um but actually writing things down i've been writing things down for many of years but actually having something in an organized place like this goals journal has the date the goal um actions to help me complete this so i have to write down how i'm going to complete this my inspiration where it come from so here is a blank page of the goals so you can see the date the goal and the actions to help me complete this goal and the inspiration so yeah it's a really good handy book and it's got a lot of details in it for you to just you know get to your destination and where you want to go in life structure things um it's really hard to see the vision and to see that it will eventually happen i think when you have more of a clear structure on where you're going it gives you more direction and so you know just as a person who's organized in the morning at work you know they're ready to work they're clear-minded and they have priorities and they get things done in a hierarchy of whichever order my thing is just be consistent not in a way where it's like oh yeah you've got to be consistent practice makes perfect but i'm just saying like make it be a fun habit make it be a hobby to just get a journal and write in it and even if you don't have a journal right now maybe just like you know you can even write these things down like actions to help me complete this etc inspiration you can just write that down on your own um book or excel spreadsheet like let's get creative make it be fun because if it's not fun then you know <laughs> what motivation are you really going to have when you're trying to actually reach the goal it's, it's not going to be fun and you're just doing things because you're just doing it there's no fun in that i want to go on holiday like many different holidays and i don't really have a date for that because of during this whole pandemic but before i did have a date for that but i'm still like you know hoping to go on different holidays don't you feel like when you actually book a holiday it's like like when you when you're talking about it with your friends like oh yeah i want to go on holiday it's like yeah you all want to go on holiday but for that person to actually do it it's like effort and then when you finally break through the cycle of not just saying things and actually doing it it's like so weird it's like something just comes over you and then you just feel like you can accomplish anything in this world when you're walking to um the airport it's like oh a breath of fresh air like we finally made it then you're on the plane it's like oh my gosh again a breath of fresh air and then when you land it's like oh my gosh i can't believe the journey that it took to actually get to this country because everybody and myself were being indecisive and now we're finally here so it's just so obvious that these you know limitations are all in your mind like literally it's all in your mind it's all about you it's about your priorities it's about your motivation it's about what you actually want to do um sometimes we do want to do things but then it's like we want to carry those people who we really love enjoy being around with with us but we can't always do that sometimes we have to let them go and experience things for ourselves 
and that's where we learn and that's when we grow and that's your journey so that's why i'm saying today get yourself a goals journal so that you can look at your journey because you know i know we want to take people with us like when we get to the top we don't want our friends still being in the same place that they were in five or ten years ago so i'm saying like i can't force you to put a pen to a paper write those goals down because you know people don't realize that those things are goals as well your personality your character who you are that is a goal who you want to be is a goal in five years time because people will look at you from 2016 and be like you know lee's different or um karen's different wherever that's growth for you to just change as a person and be a better person it's kind of like that is such a goal and then maybe they'll be inspired to be a different person better person too people will see that i believe that if you're if you really are after the good things people around you will gravitate to that and they'll start acting more nicer and etc and if they don't follow on then obviously they'll just get dropped off I'm not saying that you will drop them off because you want to but they'll just naturally get dropped off and that's fine when it comes to youtube videos i don't really just write everything down all the time i just improvise and i just go with what i feel I may be sitting down somewhere and be like oh my gosh I want to talk about that I think people want to know more about that and then I just want to be that educator for the world so this is why I'm doing this video this is why I'm doing YouTube because I just feel like I have so many conversations with my family and my friends and even in my in my in my mind I'm just something comes up and then I'm like oh my gosh people should know about this Sometimes you can actually let yourself down. So that's why it's good, again, to have a journal. Because, you know, you can rely on God to, you know, help you and get you through certain things. But if you don't map out any direction, then you'll feel like, where am I going in this life? What am I doing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? But I don't want to get into that because um, it's quite heavy sometimes. It's, it's really heavy. You know, regular people say, no one can get in the way of your future your future is destined to be what it's supposed to be and what i'm saying is for you to feel more motivated regardless if you're going to be a millionaire like in 10 days what you have been doing leading up to those 10 days i'm sure it would equip you to to getting that that thing like you would be ready for it and as i like to keep pressing on that god will never give you what you can't handle so even if you've written this down it's come from somewhere like it's come from your mind it's come from your heart that's what you want and so you know that's your that's what your heart desires as long as it's pure i believe that i will get whatever i want and you will get whatever you want too just as long as you keep believing in your goals, your dreams, setting targets and being hopeful, prayerful and positive because life is a journey and we all want to win on this earth and be something, be somebody and, no, and we should never compare, we should never compare and see that someone else is doing better or more than us because your life is different you could have it all today and lose it all tomorrow so focus on today and build for tomorrow build for tomorrow you know don't worry about tomorrow but build for tomorrow in this presence right now that i'm in i'm in this hour i'm in this second i'm in this minute and for me to focus on the next second the next hour the next minute whatever i focus on wherever it's changed i know that in the next minute if someone says something to me i'm not gonna be like go away 
I'm not going to start like acting out or anything like that because if I've made that change, that personality change, what I've done in this very second should determine the outcome of a conversation. It shouldn't be like, oh yeah, going back to square one. But I'm just saying like whatever you've written down, just make sure you're following through because you don't want to look back and be like oh in 2020 i didn't accomplish this or i didn't accomplish that but there's still nothing wrong with it but i'm just saying if it's made a negative impact or if it set you back then maybe you should be like mm, i need to rethink this and see if i really want this because there's nothing worse than writing something down you haven't accomplished it because of you not because of anyone else it's just because of you so yes thank you for watching my video and again please like subscribe and share this video amongst everyone you know and i really hope this has helped you today thank you hey it's your girl ali markella and okay let me just do that again oh wait i'm trying to twist okay i think you need one of these oh my gosh <laughs> Did I get that right? Hope I did.